guys welcome back to my channel uh today i am back with my uh january boxy charm box review try on review so um this month's box theme is fresh start um I, you guys know i love these boxes because you get a lot of products at a very good price um fun fact i'm actually recording this the day after I recorded the the try on review because I forgot to do an intro so I'm so sorry I was able to keep the top thankfully but you guys um if you guys see a different hairstyle and different things it's because it's this is the next day <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy it I had a lot of fun uh, recording it and I'm not gonna show you the products because I want you to stay tuned to see what we got and if they worked out or not so thank you so much for watching and coming back and hope you guys enjoy the first product I am gonna use is this Bali balm it's called the sweet orange and coconut lip balm it retails for $33 according to the card I have it I don't have any skincare on and I'm about to start my makeup so I thought why not apply some lip balm before especially obviously because it comes in the box so it's uh, obviously um, the smell and ingredients is sweet orange and coconut and it is supposed to um, even tone your skin because it has vitamin C and protect uh, and protect against free radicals and the coconut is a natural emollient that will moisturize the lip uh, a couple products for skincare the next one I'm gonna use is doctor by dr. brand it's called the du DNA or do not age is what it stands for then <laughs> triple peptide eye cream and um, this retails for $82 so it's supposed to be very hydrating peptide powered cream and it helps diminish all signs of aging around the delicate eye area I like to apply my eye cream with my ring finger because um, it's supposed to be very soft and gentle and as well as you can get in the corners of the eyes Okay, so next I applied um, a power essence to lock moisture in. Uh, but I have another skincare product in the box this month, as I was saying. This is by Pharmacy. It is their Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. On the back, or I should say in the bottom of it, it says made exclusively for BoxyCharm. So um, I'm not sure if they made it ex exclusively for the... For the box or if just the packaging so it's as the name says it's oil free and silicone free daily moisturizer it delivers lightweight lasting hydration without leaving skin feeling greasy it is they're vegan cruelty free and contains hyaluronic acid and a blend of phytonutrients known to help clear pores and reduce shine so sounds like this is gonna be great for people with oily skin and acne prone skin especially because um helps keep clear pores and reduce shine um let's test it out it smells very clean oh and it goes on really nicely So this is how the inside of it looks like it's it does feel like like a gel you guys can see I do need um, my pores some help with my pores I have a little bit still right here from my acne days and I still get a little bit shiny so if that this lotion or this um, moisturizer can help with that that is amazing so far I like the feel of it so usually I would finish my skincare with um, SPF or sunscreen, but I'm not gonna be going outside anymore. It's actually like five o'clock almost, so the sun's gonna be going down pretty soon, so no SPF today. So now let's move on to makeup. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of my makeup and then I'll come back with the products that were included in my box. Okay, in this box, the product I chose for this month, it is this 
brush by Persona Cosmetics. It is called Power Brush. And this is supposed to be a multitasking dual ended brush, as you can see. Synthetic vegan brush allows you to highlight with one end and seamlessly apply your blush with the opposite end. This is designed for powder and cream application. So it's supposed to be super versatile. Use it for almost any kind of um, makeup product. So I, uh, you saw me prime my face. Now I'm gonna go in with foundation. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Na Stay Naked, and I'm I'm letting you guys know because um, I'm gonna be um, using the brush to apply this. I usually apply my foundation with a beauty blender. So we'll see how this works out. The founder Sona Gasparian, I believe that's how you say her last name. She is a content creator on Instagram. So I was watching a few videos before uh, using it to see what she recommends. Now I'm applying the foundation with the blush side. You can I don't know if you can tell there's um, names on each side. This one's called blush and this one's called highlight. I'm applying it with the blush side because that's what she recommended. Um, also because she says that um, it's what makes the foundation go on the most skin-like. I do feel like it went on nicely. However, I feel like it doesn't give the first layer isn't full coverage. So I, especially for me, I, my, I like my foundation to be full coverage. So I feel like it would take me more, obviously more than one layer. So I'm going in with layer number two. I had a couple of like little breakouts over here that were really red and I feel like the, it covered them nicely. So far, so good. I think this layer is gonna be the last one. I turned on my mirror light and I noticed that you could see the strokes of me applying the foundation. It looks really nice from afar and I do feel like it looks skin-like, but as you get closer, I can I feel kind of the foundation just sitting on my skin. So I'm gonna take a sponge and see if I can just blend it a little bit better with the skin. I'm gonna go very lightly just so that the foundation can go in and um, not look so on top of my skin. Okay, just by lightly passing the sponge, that worked. So now I'm gonna go in with concealer um, and I'm gonna apply that with the other end of the brush because they also said that it can work for that. So I'm getting my highlighter and it's gonna go on underneath the eye. I'm experiencing the same problem with the concealer. I think it's just my skin and brushes. Um, I can never get brushes to seamlessly apply my my base products, my foundation, my concealer. It's always been the sponge for me. I do like that it doesn't eat up as much product as a sponge, which is the amazing part of brushes. Um, so I would say I do recommend it um, because it's versatile. So we do have a palette in the Foxes month as well. We have the Ciate the Velvet palette. It's a very unique palette. I'll show you guys why. Let me open it. So it has a lot of shimmers. A lot, a lot of shimmers. Um, you can tell that and that they're vibrant, very vibrant colors. They stand out a lot. I believe they have um, three mattes if i'm not mistaken i'm planning on doing something um a little simple since i mean we can't use that many uh shimmers on our eyes
I grabbed this shade and just put it basically on my outer corner and um, and brought it up. Now I'm gonna be taking this shimmer right here. These this palettes don't have names, so I'm just gonna be showing you guys this shimmer right here, and I'm gonna put it all over my my lid. The color is very pretty. It's like a light orange shimmer, golden little bit of orange in there. I, I this one is like the most um glittery and shimmery of the palette i'm gonna top put that one as a topper on top of that other shimmer and see how it looks it's glittery for sure good thing these shadows don't have a lot of kickback they're like they're not a cream they're not a cream but they're not like dusty like a regular shadow would be i guess you could say <laughs> dusty is the word so it's nice that you can control the glitter I'm grab a little bit more of that um, terracotta shade and then I'm gonna grab this um, corally shade after that I'm grabbing that corally shade just kind of to marry the the matte shade and the shimmer I'm gonna grab this the darkest shade of the palette this one to give a little bit of depth to the look just because I don't want it to be this bright I mean so just a little bit to add some darkness to it this is a look I came up with something simple um, it is glittery because <laughs> of that shadow that I decided to add so next I'm gonna finish up my complexion I'm gonna use the most I can the this brush So I'm cleaning off the brush after I use it for um, bronzer or yeah bronzer so because I'm gonna go in with the highlight now see if it doesn't um, the bronzer doesn't come up when I apply my highlight for highlights so pretty prints it so nicely Gonna finish up the eyes now go back the same colors that I used just underneath my eyes so I only grabbed these two not the shimmers <laughs> but I want the shimmers all over my eyes what I will do is I will grab um, this shade the first shade as my inner corner highlight and see how that works out a little orangey I didn't realize that so I'm not gonna apply it that much no more. Um, I'm gonna go in back with my highlight to do the brow bone. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys that the palette, so the full name is Ciate London Velvet Eyeshadow Palette, it says create molten metal and matte looks with this palette. Featuring a mix of hyper metallics, I can tell, soft shimmers, and velvety smooth mattes. The innovative power powder formulation delivers high pigment with super soft application. That is true. And it retails for $30. So yeah, I do agree that they are super soft. Their formula is so soft. To be honest, I wouldn't purchase this palette if um I was to see it out in the store um, just because I feel like well at least for me I feel like I buy eyeshadow palettes so that I can create a whole look with that palette and I feel like I wouldn't be able to get many looks with this palette because it has three mattes and the rest are shimmers 
and the colors are all pretty vibrant like um so i personally wouldn't purchase it but it is super pretty um i guess i think it would great work best if there's a specific shade you like a specific shadow you like for example that um uh, glittery shade is beautiful so for example if you wanted you were looking for that type of shade or that that specific shade um yeah like by the palette you know because it is unique the shadows i will say are unique i guess you could say so i'm done with the look um i wanted to go over the products really quickly just to recap so the palette said Lo um, love the colors just wouldn't buy the palette overall the pharmacy moisturizer I really really like it how it felt on um, applying it how it sunk in the skin seems like it didn't interfere with makeup I do have to keep trying it but I think this is gonna be a really nice moisturizer especially for those with oily skin I think it's gonna work great um, the texture just feels like it keeps in that oil but again gotta try it out some more um the power 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 brush by persona cosmetics i love that you it's true you can use it for multiple things um you guys saw me apply for contour bronzer um highlight blush um foundation um concealer powder um, I love it for the powder products um, for the concealer and foundation it does it's true it applies it very skin like but for my skin or I don't know if, if in general it doesn't um, blend it in nicely so I did have to use my sponge to kind of get everything to be seamless but I would say it's like would be a great buy for 24 bucks because especially if you're traveling you can save a couple brushes by carrying this one and um, for example when I used the bronzer first and then the highlight I didn't see any of the highlight any of the bronzer get in the highlight area I did clean it off obviously but I felt like it didn't transfer over those darker tones um, and then the lip balm i think it's nice i didn't think it did anything special felt nice um so i would say i pro i probably wouldn't buy it because it's 33 dollars but um it the smell is really nice sweet orange and coconut so if you're big on scents the scent i think would be very attractive the eye cream i <laughs> I'm, I think I feel like eye cream takes time to see the results in general to see if like they brighten if it helps with your wrinkles um, It didn't interfere with the makeup. I can say that right now and it didn't seem to run off or anything um, Seems to work good. It is pricey. So personally, I probably It would be an investment for me. I think if you're trying to be budget friendly I think you would have we would have to go to something less pricey. So overall um, I really like the box. I'm not gonna say it was my favorite or it was amazing, but it was good. It had really, it had good products. Obviously, we got our money's worth. Let me to total it up. So the box is 207, and like I always say, we paid um, 25 dollars for it. So you do get obviously your money's worth. Um, the brands of it are great this month. So yeah, definitely, I still recommend it. <laughs> um, I think that. You get to try so many uh, awesome products for such a cheap price. So as always, I will leave my referral link down below if you guys are interested and haven't tried it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be back um, with other videos before the February box. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.